Well, John Gosden promised us improvement from Roaring Lion when he ran in the Dante Stakes, and that's what we got. He was a very easy winner and looked quite impressive, I thought. Uh, he built on that run in the Guineas last time out, looked every inch as though he was he appreciated the step up to mile and two. The big question now is where he goes next. I think the Prix de Jockey Club might be a natural fit for him again. It's a mile and two race. A mile and four at Epsom might be just a bit too far for him. And Aidan O'Brien will be sitting pretty again because his horse, Zabriskie, finished third in the Dante. Now he's way down the pecking order at Bally Doyle, so it gives him another string to his bow in terms of finding out where Saxon Warrior fits into all of this. And the likelihood is he's right at the very top. I think Roaring Line goes to France, and I think Saxon Warrior is still the one they've all got to beat at Epsom.